Hi guys, good evening. So, here's another letter to God. Dear God, gusto kong bumait, pero hindi ko magawa. And I must admit, I can't be good all the time. Um, hindi ko lang alam sa inyo. I don't know, siguro some of you uh, find it difficult din no, na lagi kang mabait sa lahat ng oras. And sometimes it's really hard to remember what I should or should not do. And sometimes, kahit na alam ko na uh, hindi siya ganun kagandahan or hindi ganun kabaitan, uh, nagagawa ko pa rin. So, um, just like um, what happened earlier, um, habang nag-browse ako ng Facebook, I saw this post and na-trigger talaga ako. Sobrang na, nainis ako dun sa post kasi it was very demeaning um, to a certain group of people. So, sa sobrang inis ko, habi ko, I, I had to call out yung yung author ng ng post no so um binash ko siya ng malala and then while i was writing my i mean while i was typing my comments um naisip ko sa lord and um so uh binara ko yung mga yung mga words na um hindi magandang pakinggan, mga ganun. Um, I didn't curse. Hindi naman ako naglagay ng mga murad. It's just that, um, in, binura ko na lang din yung mga salita na alam ko na eh, hindi talaga siya um, maganda. But still, um, pinost ko pa rin yung comment na yun. Kasi, ah, uh, na naramdaman ko na I had to and kung kumbaga if no one is calling him out or um, some are taking it lightly so paano niya malalaman na mali yung mali yung post niya na may mali dun sa post niya so I did what I had to do and uh, kasi sobrang triggered lang talaga ako inis na inis ako so and then after a while, uh, may mga nagla-like, ganyan. Uh, I don't know, like, hindi ko alam kung ilan sila. And then, just few hours ago, before this video, um, I got a notification na minention daw ako ng author dun sa post niya. And then when I uh, tried to visit yung, yung kanyang page, wala na dun yung post. So, I'm not sure if tinago niya or he, um, he took it down. But I hope na talagang tinanggal na niya kasi hindi siya maganda. It, it was really demeaning. And um, talagang nakakasakit siya uh, dun sa mga taong pinatut pinatutungkulain niya. So... God is telling us that we're supposed to be good at all times, but that doesn't mean that we won't ever mess up. Na hindi tayo kahit kailan man magkakamali. Na talagang magiging perfect tayo all throughout. And when we make mistakes, we should know that God will always be there to forgive us. And that is, if we confess and we admit to our sins, then sa mga shortcomings natin, sa mga pagkakamali, He will always be there to forgive us. And God is also saying that He will not give us anything more than we can handle. And um, naiintindahan naman na Lord na Napakahirap talagang maging mabait sa lahat ng oras. 
there will really come a time na matitrigger at matitrigger ka. And pag dumating yung araw na yun, let us remember that God has promised to help us do the right thing. And um, doon sa sinabi niya sa Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. So, sa mga tao or sa inyo na natitrigger pa rin paminsan-minsan, um, let's not be too hard on ourselves. Um, let us remember that most of us are works in progress. Actually, yung iniisip ko sa sarili ko that I'm still um, under construction na marami pang kailangang i-improve, marami pang kailangang gawin. Um, but I know that under or with God's grace, um, I'll be able to overcome yung mga bagay na or hindi mga gandang bagay na nagagawa ko. Nagagawa ko pa rin paminsan-minsan. So, I hope that you will keep on praying and asking God um, to help you and direct you and lead you and guard your heart and your mouth especially. So stay blessed and stay safe. Have a good night.